PCR test done, results pending. And in the meantime, before that inevitable positive test comes through, <laughs> I'm here at a place called Dodoy Bazaar. So yesterday I went to Osh Bazaar, today I'm at Dodoy Do Do Bazaar. And it's one of the, I think it's maybe the biggest market in Kazakhstan. I don't know if you can tell, but a lot of it's made up of shipping containers stacked on top of each other. So already you can see here, like the shops are built into shipping containers. I'm going with bag on the front height today as well, because I assume maybe not this area, because it's quite sp sparsely populated at the moment. But I imagine some areas of the market will be quite tightly packed. Um, and obviously we want to avoid getting pickpocketed, minimise that risk. And so bags on the front, phone in the front pocket, and I'm sort of carrying me GoPro, obviously. If we have like Box Park and stuff like that in the UK where they have like restaurants built in to these uh, shipping containers, but obviously nothing like on this scale. I mean, Box Park's only small, this is massive. This is a bit more like a, a market you'd expect to see. You know, with the big, uh, the big covers on top. In fact, that one's t that one's a Tisky cover Polish beer. Very good Polish beer, might I add. But um, again, they still obviously work the containers in. So you've got the containers here. But then it's kind of like half sort of regular market, half the Doi Bazaar shipping container market. There's a lot more going on here actually than in Osh. I'm more hopeful that there will be something here to buy. Got some cool street food here. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna lose my Kyrgyz street food virginity today, definitely. There's so much. Like you've got these kebab places. You had like some kebab places back there, some, yeah, they, like, they, were, they were almost like Cornish pasties back there as well that they were doing, obviously. They're not gonna be, oh, Cornish pasties, maybe Kyrgyz pasties. One thing they do do here is these. So I saw these the other day at Osh Bazaar and I thought it was just like fancy bread apparently it's naan from what I've read on the internet so they do it in one of them sort of ovens where they put the, the dough on the side and then it cooks and then they can uh, take it off and serve it so yeah apparently it's some sort of Kyrgyz naan so I'm interested to uh, to try one of them hopefully but it's a little bit too early in my opinion it's about half ten at the moment so we'll walk around a bit build up an appetite hopefully get a few souvenirs and then obviously get some food basically they've got an entire section dedicated to shoes like i said the other day some of them are like spot on copies they look really good i mean you know shoe nerds might be able to pick them apart but you know some of them do look really good the only issue i would have I mentioned the other day is the quality i just feel like they look good but the quality is not there and in a shoe Especially when you're heavy footed like me, you need that quality. And weirdly, Dodoy Bazaar is quite a way out the city centre. About an hour and 20 minute walk, I actually got a taxi to get here. And I was in the taxi for about 35 minutes because of traffic. And it literally cost me about £1.40 for the ride. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely the cost of living here. It's absolutely insane. But I'm going to probably walk back later. But it's, I just find it bizarre how bizarre good pun bizarre how far it is outside the city um with osh market or osh bazaar it was a bit closer in somehow we're still going down shoe street at the, it's like the longest row of shoe stores i've ever seen in my life how they all make money and stay open is beyond me like they literally a lot of them are selling similar goods <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of them are selling similar goods, so I'm surprised that this many hey, can remain open at the same time. Hey bro, I'm okay, thank you. But the people, <laughs> the people are really nice to be fair. Like, they leave you sort of to your own devices, then a couple, mainly at younger ones, they'll pull like a, like a peace sign or something at the camera or make a little gesture, you know, have a bit of fun with it, so it's not all, um, it's not like at home you just get abuse shouted at you basically which is a shame but yeah i i feel comfortable vlogging virtually anywhere in the world other than the uk because you're almost asking to, for people to just shout stuff at you it, oh, it'd be an absolute nightmare mm -hmm. 
How are we still going? Oh my god. How many shoe stars do you need? So here we're now going three high. With the crates or the shipping containers, whatever you want to call them. And I can see, so here you've got like a shop. There it does look like storerooms up at the top. So it does look like if you want to come here and buy. Um, buy some, I don't think there's stairs actually. But obviously if you buy something, you keep the stock upstairs and then you can replenish fairly easily. It's, it's a good idea really. It's a good use of the space as well, because all the units are pretty much uniform in size. And it uh, makes it quite an interesting interesting little market. It's a little market, it should say massive, ma massive market. So like here, we've got a lot of these closed. The odd one open. Now it is a Monday, and one thing I'm surprised about is that it's not very busy. I thought there'd be loads of people, but you can walk around really freely. Plenty of space between people. Back outside now. More clothes, more shoes. I have seen a couple of like kitchenware stalls and stuff like that. So I'm hoping somewhere we'll uh, we'll find a way out and we can get going to uh, the souvenir places. That's what I'm really holding out hope for. See, like, look here. Here's something, it's not got souvenirs, but it's not clothing. But again, even outside, if you count slightly undercover as outside, they're using the shipping containers here. These look like slightly newer ones, like the gray ones here, whereas inside they were blue. I'm gonna stop off here, get some pomegranate juice, hopefully <laughs> in a cup. Hey. Go. What? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Is that enough? No. One. Ah, oh, one hundred. Hold. No, no. This. Baby. I know. I need you. Sorry. Let me put this down. Well, to get me change and give this pomegranate juice a go. I pomegranate actually tastes quite nice. If you get them little things in Tesco, the pomegranate seeds, they're a pain in the arse to eat because you've got to like kind of get them on a little, little spork. But um, I'm excited to try the juice. I don't think I've tried it before. It's okay. Not bad. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Spasiba. Thank you. Mm. So, it's quite bitter actually, not as sweet as I was expecting, but it tastes nice, quite refreshing. I've not had any food or drink this morning yet, so this is actually um, <clears throat> much needed. Mm. Hey. <laughs> People keep waving at the back of the camera, I've got it pointed to my face. So. They must think they're on camera, but unfortunately, they aren't. Not quite street food, but at least my first bit of, uh, well, my first purchase, I suppose, from this market. So that was 100, um, which is about a euro. It's about 90p. I thought he said 10 at first, so I gave him 20. And thinking about it, that would have been 10p. So, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely uh, that's definitely a fair price, to be fair. Well, more than, more than fair for, for me. Probably could have charged more. I mean, imagine that, that's one thing that costs a lot of money at home is oh, sorry, is freshly squeezed fruit juice. It's like you go to a restaurant and get like freshly squeezed orange, hardly any in the glass. It costs like five quid, so that was all right. A pound for a decent cup of pomegranate juice, can't complain. All this way, Union Jack flags. <laughs> Didn't expect to see. That in here. So many of these guys moving stuff on these big wheelbarrow type things. You've got to really be careful here because they don't really stop for people. You kind of just try and plow on. That guy had a bit of trouble there because he had a massive load on the uh, on the wheelbarrow. But generally speaking, they just whiz about like these guys. Yeah. 
it's fair enough you got a job to do and you don't want to crack on with it and you can't be bothered stopping every two seconds completely get that but if you're first time here just something to be aware of on slight breakthrough i think we have found the dry food hall so these are the naan breads i was talking about that were on display yesterday so i just thought they were just regular bread a bit of a fancy shape but no apparently they are naan bread so i might have to get one of them in a bit yeah you got a great food market a little bit of a deli style thing here this is pretty cool and you've obviously got got the fruit and veg which is good i love stuff like this like the nuts and dried fruit always looks cool more meat this is obviously where the butchers all chill out right i'm gonna try one of these now breads ladies are over here i'm gonna get one off these and uh, see what they, they taste like <laughs> you've got Morrison's bags, like the old style plastic bags at home. Now you know where they sent them when we were all banned. One. Thank you. Absolutely no idea how much of this are. I just give him a hundred. Especially and I got friggin' hell. I got 80 back, so that's what um hundred. Oh, so that's 20. So that's this essentially cost me 20p. Well maybe just slightly under. Hmm. It's nice. It's like um it just tastes like crusty bread from home. But obviously it's a cool thing like this. The only thing is it's quite dry. So to eat it on its own, there's gonna be some effort, so I don't think I'll eat the whole thing just because I think without something, you know, like a, if you had a bit of meat with it or something that's got a bit of juice or whatever, it just can soak up. I think that'd be perfect. Right, yeah. not bad. I'll tell you what, we got a bit of butter, a bit of butter on it. Spot on. You know, go in here and get some, sit down, shoot your food. Right. A uh, wrap. Can I get a wrap? Yeah, yeah. English. English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know Liverpool? Liverpool? You YouTube. YouTube? Uh -huh. No. 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 This looks like it's gonna actually be sick. I'm looking forward to it. Давай, давай, снимай, снимай, да?
Das lieber. Mhm. This massive rack is about 1 euro 50. Let's say 1 pound 30. And there, I'm good to go. No, I didn't get it to the meat then. I just got rack on the end. Alright, we See you then. It reminds me. <laughs> He's biting into that, that bread I've just had. It's good. Nice. It's good. You know what's good? It's like, it's a bit like a, well, I can't suppose it's a burrito of sorts. But it's not stuffed full. So you can actually eat it and it's not going everywhere. Little guy there. He cut this. He thought it was American, he was saying to his family in the back. <laughs> He's got an American in his stall, but obviously I'm British. So on this trip I've been called German. I've been called um, American. And I've been called Russian. No one thinks I'm British, which is actually quite a good thing. Mm. Some decent street food around here. What's good as well is the meat. It's quite greasy, quite fatty, but he's not put that much on there. So you get the flavour of it, but it's not overpowered by fat and grease. It's, you know, not bursting at the seams with all that. So, yeah, it's a decent little snack. I'm glad I stopped off for it. Spasiba. I was hoping this might bring some souvenirs, but it really, it's not looking likely anymore, unfortunately. I do think there's probably one or two stores that sell souvenirs in the city centre, I'm guessing. There must be like someone. Must think there will be a slight, even if it's only a tiny, sell a couple of things a day, a slight bit of demand. But other than that, there's not a lot going on here. Regards to your typical souvenirs. Right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I can't find any souvenirs to buy and I've seen enough clothes and enough shoes and even more clothes and even more shoes to last a lifetime. As always, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, it will be a massive help. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you. Hang on a minute, the video isn't over yet. After failing to find any souvenirs, I got a mad taxi back to the city centre. Had a quick look around this shopping mall called Bishkek Park. Then, on my way back to the hotel, I made this discovery. Bit of bonus content, I've just stumbled across this place near Alatu Square, which is just there. And I wonder, this looks like a bit like a craft sort of market. I wonder if finally, finally this search for souvenirs will be over. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Here we go. Finally, I found some magnets. Oh my God, so good. It's been quite the year. Been quite the hunt searching for these, but finally, I'm gonna be able to finally get some souvenirs. I'm genuinely buzzing about it. Thank you. I like them. Yeah, cool. With the uh, what's around it on? Yeah. That one's a good one. Yeah, that was decent. Might get that one as well. One, two, three, four. Let's see that. Yeah, enough there. God knows. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I just gave her money and she just took it. I mean, I only gave her probably about four quid. I'm guessing it was actually a bit cheaper, but she just said, yeah, that's fine. So I'm guessing it was probably a little bit more. I paid a little bit more than I should have done, but less than a fiver for four fridge magnets. I can't really complain at that. I finally got them now. I finally got my souvenirs after all this uh, hunting. I finally got them. So this is the real end to the video. As always, thank you for watching. Signing off from this awesome craft market by Alatu Square. I'll see you next time. Get his